Hey, Medic, what are you doing? Uh, nothing, Scout. I'm just excited because tomorrow will be the day they will release a new episode of Better Call Saul. Wait, hold on, Better Call Saul. Yes, it is one of my favorite shows and they are about to finish the final episodes for the series finale. To be honest, I'm not really interested in that show. I'm more of a Breaking Bad person. What do you mean, Scout? Better Call Saul is worth more watching than Breaking Bad. Come on, Manic, it's obvious that Breaking Bad is the best one. I mean, it has Walter White in it, one of the best characters in television. Yes, but Better Call Saul is Saul Goodman as the main character, who is also one of the best characters to ever live, and is better and more complex than Walter White. You take that back, Medic! That isn't true! Sorry, but it's true! So good men along with the storytelling and writing is far more superior! Well, at least my show isn't a snooze fest. The show is literally just boring talking scenes, while Breaking Bad is more action-packed and has a faster pace. And of course, all has a slower pace because it wants to focus more on its characters rather than the plot, which is far more interesting! But Breaking Bad has more interesting characters like Walt, Jesse, Hank, Skylar, and Walt Jr. The only characters I remember from your show were Kim and Howard! Scat! If you didn't have such a short attention span, then you would have known that there were more interesting characters than just Kim and Howard! Characters like Chuck, Nacho, Lalo, and Hector Salamanca are what made the show great in the first place! Aren't you forgetting that half of the characters are from Breaking Bad? Yes, but at least the characters from Breaking Bad were given more to do in better course, so! What the Sam Hill is going on in here? I'm busy trying to build some things and I hear you guys so loudly what is happening. Sorry, Engineer, but Scout thinks that Breaking Bad is the best show than Better Call Saul. It's true, Angie. Breaking Bad is still a great show with complex characters and story. I'm gonna be honest here. Well, I like Better Call Saul. I still enjoy Breaking Bad a bit more. Wait, what? Right on, Angie. You got good taste. Engineer, how can you like Breaking Bad more? The show has inferior writing when Better Call Saul is leaps greater. Medic. Just because the writing in the show isn't as good as Better Call Saul doesn't automatically make Breaking Bad a terrible show. I still think the writing holds up to this day. We can at least agree that the character development in Better Call Saul is way better than Breaking now, Bad. Hold on just a damn minute, how can you say that? And ignore the character development that Walt and Jesse have been through in Breaking Bad. I mean, think about it. We see Walt go from a humble school teacher who is trying to make money for his family only to turn into a greedy, cruel psychopath. That's because the story and characters feel unrealistic and to the point of almost feeling cartoony. Especially Jesse. People praise him as a good character, but I think of him as a whiny bitch. Not to mention Scarlet White. She is annoying. I understand that her character is over-concerned for Walter, but it becomes too much. And don't get me started on that scene where she sings happy birthday to Ted. It makes me cringe just thinking about it. But you can't help but feel bad for Jesse. I mean, he lost both of his girlfriends. Forced to kill Gale and was kept as a slave by a group of neo-Nazis after he was betrayed by Walt. It was his fault for becoming a drug-dealing junkie and partnering up with Walter. What is going on now? I was eating my sandwich when I heard arguing from downstairs. Can someone please explain? Sorry to disturb you, Heavy, but I was discussing how better Call Saul is better than Breaking Bad. Come on, Heavy, you probably like Breaking Bad more, right? I'm no scout. I actually agree with Doctor. I do believe that Better Call Saul is more fleshed out than Breaking Bad. What heavy? How can you enjoy Better Call Saul? That show is boring and makes me want to go to sleep. Let me explain, Scout. I enjoy the show because it dives deep into characters like Mike Ehrman, Trapp, and Gus Fring. Seeing the backstories was a treat. Especially seeing the transformation of Jimmy McGill to Saul Goodman as a criminal lawyer. The acting was great, and the pacing felt right to me. Yes, but it isn't until the near end of the show where we finally get to see some criminal action. What I like about Breaking Bad is that it cuts straight to the story, in just the first episode alone. I actually agree with Scout here. The fast pace of Breaking Bad helps to its advantage. The show established its characters in the first episode, helping it focus more on the plot later on. But I understand if you like Bitter Cole so more for its characters rather than the story. Plus, I don't get how anyone can think Jimmy is a good character. He's nothing but a sleazy con artist who has no redeeming qualities. How dare you say that, Scout? Jimmy can be a good person. It is true. It's true. The guy is nothing more than a self-centered douchebag who scams people out of their money and manipulating others for his own gain. Who remembers the time when he poisoned Brock? Oh, Jimmy and Kim try to frame Howard by making him look like a drug addict. That was some messed up shit that he did and I'll never forget it. Yes, while well, Jimmy in the future has done some bad things, he can be a good person. 
What about the time when Jimmy was helping the Sandpiper residents? Yes, Scout! And there were many reasons on why Jimmy and Kim went after Howard. The biggest example was teaming up with Chuck, Jimmy's brother, in order to stop Jimmy from becoming a lawyer. Aren't you forgetting the time when Jimmy manipulated an old woman named Irene into losing her friends? That episode alone almost made me lose respect for Jimmy. Yes. Well, I agree that what Jimmy did was despicable. He fixed his mistake by getting her friends back, but at the cost of his friendship with her and the rest of the Sandpiper residents. That scene alone made Harry tear up because it showed that Jimmy has the potential to be a good and honorable person while he became a criminal lawyer later on. But deep down, he is still a kind soul. <laughs> Yeah, definitely a kind soul. What are you blokes doing in the medic's room? It's almost time to go to bed. I'm sorry, Sniper, but we are discussing which show is better. Better Call Saul or Breaking Bad. Wait, is that what you guys are talking about? Yes, I've been waiting for a moment like this. My favorite one would be Breaking Bad. That show is the best. The character development is fantastic along with the story. You are going to like this sniper, but Medic thinks the character development in Breaking Bad was awful compared to Better Call Saul. Wait, what? It is true. I do believe that Better Call Saul has done it, but greater than what Breaking Bad did. Medic, how can you say that? Not forget about Hank Schreiner. The character development with him was so damn interesting. Seeing him go from an energetic joker to a depressed person due to the events that happened to him was so damn tragic. Especially the scene where he was gonna get shot while Walter was pleading for him. I'm afraid to admit this, but I cried during that scene I cared for both Walter and Hank. And here you are, telling me that the character development didn't matter because you think it was bad. I didn't say I disliked what they did with Hank, but I felt that they done it better with a character like Jimmy. Don't forget about Nacho Varga. The story with him and his father was so sad to see. We see Nacho get far involved into crime while his father wants him to go to the police. But Nacho can't because his father will be killed by Gus Fring. Also, Mike, who we see work with Jimmy on some jobs until he starts to work with Gus and becomes more involved with him as the show goes on. But you can't deny that what they did with the characters in Breaking Bad was more impactful and engaging. The biggest example would be Gus Fring. He was more threatening and interesting. For seeing that flashback of him watching his partner die, and having to work for the cartel, but he hates working with them. Especially with the same people who killed his partner who were the Dawn and Hector Salamanca. Fortunately, he gets his revenge on everyone in the cartel by poisoning them with Hector being the last one. It isn't until he gets blown up that Walter put in a bomb below Hector. He even had one of the best death scenes in both Breaking Bad and Better Cold Soul. And now you tell me, Medic. What cool things did Gus do in Better Cold Soul? Oh well. Oh, there was this one cool scene involving Gus in the new episode. Wait, Doctor, don't spoil it! I haven't watched the new episode yet. Ah, oh, sorry, my friend. Well, we can at least agree that Gus is the best villain in both Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. That is not true! Jesus Christ, spy! Where were you? I followed you in here while I was cloaked to see what you people were talking about. But after hearing what you were discussing, I couldn't hold it in. I want to join this conversation. Spy, if you haven't heard, we were discussing about which show is better. Me and Medic think Better Call Saul is the best one while Scout, Sniper, and Engineer think Breaking Bad is better. Oh my god, isn't it obvious, you simpletons? Better Call Saul is the superior show. Come on, Spy, Breaking Bad is still a great show to watch. Well, that might be true. It doesn't come close to the perfection that is Better Call Saul. The creator, Vince Gilligan, was able to improve upon it, and it shows. The writing and storytelling aspect is at its peak. The characters are more complex and have more depth. And the cinematography is brilliant. Hell, even a scene involving an ice cream cone. And lads can top off what Breaking Bad can do. Oh yes, Harry remembers that scene. Very beautiful. One of my favorites. Bravo, Vince Gilligan. Come on, Spy. Well, Better Call Saul did a good job with the intro scenes. That doesn't mean Breaking Bad didn't try. What about the intro scene in that episode with the Los Pollos Hermanos commercial? 
the editing in that scene was spot on with the cool transition to having a banger of a song playing in the background. Yeah, it was definitely one of the coolest scenes in the show, especially with Gus observing the trucks as they go by. It shows that Gus is very focused on his work in order to take down the cartel, which is why he is the best villain. Don't think you're going to get away with saying that, Scout. I joined this conversation to tell you why you are wrong. Okay then, you snake. Tell me, what is the best villain of all time? The best villain would be Lalo Salamanca. He is the best simply because he is different from the other Salamancas. Lalo uses his intelligence and stuff to get through most of his plans, and he is quite the charismatic character. You're only saying it because you see yourself as Lalo. I'm surprised you were too able to get through six seasons of the show without yawning. Says the person who hates the show only because of the pacing. I wouldn't be surprised if you had attention deficit disorder. Shut up, medic! I wasn't talking to you! Why are you still defending the show? It will never top off Breaking Bad! Scout, at least give the show another chance and maybe you'll change your mind. No, I won't! I already made my mind up years ago. When will you actually be able to appreciate true art? Alright, enough! Both of you need to calm down. They are both great shows! Heavy is right. None of us should really be shouting which show is the superior one. Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul have their own advantages and weaknesses. Yes, this argument was getting a bit out of hand. Engineer is right. We should at least acknowledge that both shows do have their flaws. I got carried away, but I guess you are right. I'm sorry, guys. Also, you scout. You shouldn't get angry at someone for not liking Breaking Bad. Yes, even if we all have different thoughts on each other's shows, we should all respect each other's opinions. Scout, do you have something to say? Okay, fine, I admit. I may have been a bit too aggressive. I'm sorry. Well, I'm glad we're able to sort this one out. If you excuse me, I must go back to my smoking room. Yeah, I'm actually getting tired. See you tomorrow, lads. Let's go, Scout. We're done here. I'll make ourselves some hot chocolate before we go to sleep. If that's all right with you. Okay, I guess I can drink some. Well, what now? And I don't know and... Oh my god, I forgot that in a few minutes that they're going to air the new episode! Alright, I will watch it with you, but sadly I haven't seen the ninth episode yet. Well, that's okay, I won't spoil it for you. Thank you, I must go now. <laughs> what the... what happened to the intro? This is going to be interesting.